This is Button. Button has a message for the world. And Button's message is a quotation from Vasamazulu Baba Credo Mutwa. Our people believe that every human being, male or female, has two minds, the mother mind and the warrior mind. The warrior mind looks at things logically. The warrior mind says two plus two is four. But the mother mind does not think in a line way as warriors do in a linear fashion. The mother mind thinks sideways, upwards, and downwards. We must awaken the mother mind within us. We must feel what is going on in the world. We must not just listen to newspapers. We must feel. It is said by the Zulu people that women think with their pelvic area where children grow and are born. We must think that way. I must no longer look at a tree, but I must see a living entity like me in that. I must no longer look at a stone, but I must see the future lying dormant in that stone. We must think like grandmothers. And that was a quote from Credo Vasamazulu Baba Credo Mutwa. He passed away, I believe, in 2020. And that was Credo Mutwa's message to the world. Credo, I believe, is suggesting that the human mind is divided into two, as he refers to it as the mother mind and the warrior mind. I often refer to the mother mind, your right hemisphere, as your god mind, which is also understood as the subconscious or superconscious. It is also the stargate, the stargate to the universe, to the cosmos. But these two minds, the mother mind, the warrior mind, the left brain, the right brain, the ego brain, the, the subconscious, the conscious, the God mind, these two minds perceive reality and the world very differently. The mother mind, which represents feminine energy, is thoughtful and receptive of other views and possibilities, while the warrior mind, which represents masculine energy, is decisive and inconsiderate. And if you recall, he gives an example of a math problem, two plus two, and says that the warrior mind is confident that the answer is four, while the mother mind is not certain that four is the answer. Now, this is because the mother mind does not jump to conclusions, owing to its considerate nature. And what I believe Credo is offering as a solution here in this quotation is that all human beings should activate the feminine part of their psyche so as to create a balance between the two minds. It is my contention, it is my estimation, it is my proclamation, it is my belief that when a person's psyche is balanced, the ego, the narcissistic ego, which is the problem, cannot exist. When you have a context of the mother mind, the God mind, it, it superimposes itself over your ego mind. The lower animal nature can be understood as the lower three chakras can be conterminous with the ego mind. Now, this is not to say that in the ego and what it does is not necessary. It just should not be allowed to run like a petulant child, rampant and undisciplined. Please hit the subscribe button. Button would be uh, very, very happy if you were to hit the subscribe button, as well as Beltor, Button and Beltor, my two canine friends, who seem to be firmly ensconced within their own mother mind. And we're hoping that you, too, will be um, on that path. So hit the subscribe button, leave this video a thumbs up, and stay tuned for further information dissemination broadcasts from the Ombanda New Earth Ashram for compassion, strength, and the mother mind. Namaste. Namaskaram.